Columbia, Missouri. These fans are juiced up for the start of this game. Let's head down to the coin toss now. And it's brought to you by Coke Zero. Real Coca-Cola taste and zero calories. Enjoy everything. Georgia will be kicking off, and you can just feel the energy in the air for this opening kickoff. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Three down, three down. Two for Mike. Cut. Ten, nineteen. Cut. Complete. Brought down. Nothing doing. Second down and seven coming up here. Ball on the 28-yard line. Three down, three down. They'll bring him down at the 26-yard line. He was never able to get ahead of steam on that carry. After a decent run up the gut. Sometimes when you think you've got great plays called, the defense just has the answers. They've got 10 guys up. They're coming after the kick. It's a short kick. He drops it. Gets past the tackler. He's tackled at the 43. He was definitely peeking to see what kind of space he had to run. And that loss of focus is what cost him. So the offense will come out in opponent's territory for their first drive of the game. They couldn't have asked for better field position than this. First down grab. And he hits him hard at the 27-yard line. Well, the quarterback's able to find a soft spot in the defense, and he threw an accurate ball for a solid pickup. From the 27-yard line, it's first down. Runs outside for a nice game. The sub package in there defensively in this five wide receiver set. Open receiver, no good. Third down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. And he's tackled after positive yardage. They should continue to run the ball. If they keep this up, the defense will wear down very quickly. They come out in a five-wide set. They run left, and he'll lose yardage. He's really quick with his lateral movement, especially for a guy this big. He got to the ball carrier before he could get out of the backfield. So it's second and 12. Ball on the 18-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. And he's taken down at the 15. at the 10. Fourth down. They'll line up for the field goal, and this is nothing more than a chip shot. Georgia is looking to go up by three. Kicks away, and it splits the uprights. Even though they gave up a field goal here, that defense is feeling pretty good about themselves right now. It could have just as easily been a touchdown. They line up to kick this one away. Excellent kick. 
And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. George is in the driver's seat right now, but it's still early, Kirk. Yep, very early in this game, but you got to love the feel for it as far as they're concerned. They came up with a stop, and then they get points, and right now they're out of the game. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. Gains his way to the 33-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Three down, three down. Choose the mic. Three down, three down. And they push him out at about the 43-yard line. You talk about a dual-threat guy. This guy can hurt you in the air or on the ground. He passes it, and that one's incomplete. I know that this quarterback and wide receiver were very confident they'd be able to execute this play. They worked all week long in practice on this play. The problem is the wide receiver got too close to the boundary, just didn't give himself or the quarterback's throw much of a chance to make the reception. Up the middle for a nice game. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 47. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. They're stacking the line. It looks like they're coming after this punt. Didn't get all of that one. And here we go with the offense ready to get things going again. Georgia has a three-point lead. Caught out in the open, and they make the stop at the 46-yard line. You obviously have to worry about him as a ball carrier, but he showed here that you have to be concerned about him as a receiver as well. He's got good hands, and you know he's good in the open field. First and 10. Ball on their own 46. Makes the catch, and he's got nowhere to go. That play was going nowhere. Yeah, give a lot of credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. He's at the 40, and he dives forward. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 34. Tackle at about the 23-yard line. Five wide. Here we go. Green 19. Green 19. Check, check. He steps out around the 19-yard line. From the 19-yard line, second down. Gets to about the 17-yard line. Georgia is up by three. Throws incomplete, broken up. Nice play by the defense to bring up fourth down. Yeah, instead of going for the interception, they did the same thing, and that was just to tip it away. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. It's up, and it's through the uprights. Everyone's all lined up and ready for the kickoff. Nice kick, plenty of distance. 
This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. The Bulldogs are looking downright scary on defense so far, Irving. They are flying around as a group right now, completely aware of what this offense is trying to do and dismantling them every single time on every single play. And while they are behind, they know they can knock things up in a heartbeat. It's way too early to change your game plan. He's to the 40, the 50. Tackle made at the 42-yard line. So we've got a first down after a great running play. back with a carry taken down as he works the left for a nice game gets out to around the 28 from the 28 yard line first down Quick strike to the fullback, incomplete. He makes it to the 25-yard line. Third down now, and they need to get it to the 18. Quick strike to the receiver. Brought down at the six. First and goal from the five. They're knocking on the door. At the nine. Here's the eighth play of the series. Fires quickly to the tight end. Touchdown. And that one worked just like they draw it up, Kirk. Yeah, Brad, you're exactly right. Offensive line did a good job of protecting the quarterback. Good route by the receivers. Results, touchdown. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he adds the extra point. So that's an eight-play, 76-yard drive. And they add seven points to the scoreboard. The score now, 7-6. He just drills this one. The kicker looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Jackson fields at the goal line. He makes it out to maybe the 20-yard line. You never like to have to play from behind, but a deficit this manageable shouldn't be in the front of their minds. They just need to go out there and play. They come out on an empty backfield. Got his man. Oh, what a hit. Hang on, everybody, because it looks like they came ready to play today. 7-6, Missouri. Welcome back. Tight game here in the second quarter as we begin play. 
And they got to him before he could get back to the line. The defense had that one called perfectly. That's a big play on that loss. Third and ten coming up. Ball in their own 20. They'll line up with five wide receivers. Throws it and it's tipped away. And he's taken down at the 44-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Missouri, up a point. He's tackled around the 44-yard line. The D-line did a good job of nullifying out the blocks up front, and that allowed the linebacker to roam free and make the tackle in the backfield. From their own 44-yard line, it's second down. He's under pressure. He gets sacked on the play. Sometimes it's just a relentless pass rush that results in a sack. And that's what happened there. Great concentration to pull it in. He's taken down at the 49. Jackson awaiting the return. It's away. Short punt. This punt bounces into the end zone, and this will be a touchback. Every single time this offense has the ball, they're moving the football, but they're settling for field goals. And every time they settle for field goals, I've been watching the defense that they've been facing and watching how they run off the field to celebrate a job well done because they're not giving up touchdowns. That's a bad sign. And he is drilled at the 22. McIntosh gains about two yards on the run. From their own 22-yard line, it's second down. He's on the run. They'll bring him down at about the 31. He tackles him for a loss. The option can be really tough to defend. At that time, it was well played by the defense. So it's second and 13. Ball on their own 28. And he just gets rid of it. Great job by the defense of getting after that quarterback. And right now, I think they've got him with some happy feet. He appears to be a bit rattled. They'll spread the field with five wide. Catches it, and he's looking for more. And he's taken down at about the 37-yard line. <laughs> Tackle at the 35. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Missouri is up one. Here's a little draw play. He makes it out to maybe the 36-yard line. From their own 36-yard line, second down. Nice run, and he's brought down. Loose 
football. And it's picked up by one of the linemen. They'll get him for a loss. The punting team's got to give their kicker some time. It's a short kick. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Empty backfield, quarterback in the gun, five wide receivers. It's caught first down, and he's out of bounds. That was a great route by the receiver. It started out looking like a streak, but in reality, it was going to be a corner route the whole time. Nice job of beating the zone coverage and getting the first down. First down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 47-yard line. Gives it off. They bring him down in the backfield. This is a big-time read by this safety. You know, a lot of times as a safety, you're sitting back there making sure there isn't a play-action pass or a play potentially that can go behind you. I think this safety has that sixth sense. His instincts on that play were special. He read the run, got into the backfield, and made the play. Fires out to his receiver. And he's tackled around the 38-yard line. From the 38-yard line, first down. Nice run up the middle. A nice option play. The tailback gets six yards before he's brought down. And they'll get him in the backfield. down and they need to get it to the 28. Ready. Throws it out right to the running back. Tackled for a loss. Quick out to his receiver. And they make the stop at the 26-yard line. First and 10. Ball on the 26. Quick throw. He's pushed out of bounds at the 22-yard line. And this is the ninth play of the current drive. Roger, Roger. Hey, check by 33. Check by 33. Come to the wall. Run. Run. He's on the run. A huge play, and now they're in a great position to score. And this is the 10th play of the drive. Let's see if they try to pound it in here. Both teams have their goal line sets on the field. And he throws it away. The defense got some pressure and forced a bad pass. I think they've been a little bit more aggressive here with their pass rush. And that time it paid off with an incompletion. 
That brings up a second and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. Just throws this one away. And this is the 12th play of the drive. Five guys will be out in the pattern as they're in the shotgun. Quick strike to the receiver. Touchdown. He stepped up and threw a touchdown pass to his wideout. Yep, good job of protection, and the quarterback spotted his man. And he tacks on the extra point. So a 12-play, 68-yard drive, and they get it in for seven. So our score, 13-7. They line up to kick this one away. Sends it sailing downfield. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Well, this is a very competitive game. Just when you think one team has gained the advantage or the momentum, the other team comes fighting back, and it's going back and forth. This is almost like a basketball game. In a game that's this close, you can't afford to waste possessions. Makes the grab past the marker. Tackle at the 42. From their own 42-yard line, it's first down. Short over the middle, and they got him for a loss. And he didn't have much of a chance on that play. Boy, this defense has a lot of speed. They're all over him by the time he caught the ball. They'll bring him down for a loss on the play. That's how we do, D. That's how we do. They don't want none. They don't want none of this. Third down, and they need to get it inside the 48. Rip that ball. Mike 10. Mike 10, Mike 10. He's out. Center. Under pressure. They'll make the sack. The Bulldogs will use their first time out of the half. Jackson back to return it. Didn't get all of that one. Brought down at the 47. Six points and a pretty display of passing was a result of their last drive. Kirk, do you expect the defense to take a different approach here? When this quarterback is on, he is on. It already seems like whatever this defense is trying just isn't working. But maybe if they add just a little bit more pressure, then they might be able to force them into a mistake. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Georgia with a six-point lead. Caught, and he's hit immediately. There's a strike complete. Brought down right around the 38-yard line. Pass complete and taken down immediately. Check, check. Spider! Spider! Gets it. He's in space. And down he goes at the 20-yard line. Kirk will get a player down, obviously in some pain. Check, check. He lets it go. He tried to force it to a man that wasn't open, and boy, was he lucky it wasn't picked off. He's got to be more careful when throwing the football into the end zone. So it's second and ten. Ball on the 20-yard line. Throws. Makes the grab and steps out right away.
And this play is number eight on the drive. Nice move, and he scores. That was a very good all-around effort. The running, the blocking, the entire package. A well-deserved score. He makes the PAT. An eight-play, 53-yard drive, and a touchdown as a result. Brad, I love these kind of drives. They're old school, grind it out and earn the yards and just rip the heart right out of that defense. The score now, 20-7. to seven. <laughs> Tackle made at the 18. The offense takes the field again. They were forced to punt their last time out. The Bulldogs had one of their key guys go down earlier, but it looks like he might be able to return. Tackled after a decent run up the gut. We played a half of football. The Bulldogs lead 20 to 7. Glad to have you with us in the studio for the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 halftime show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. Reese Davis and David Pollock here completely locked in on that first half. Maybe the most important statistic from the first half, no turnovers for either team. So far, a good job of ball security, but now you wonder if the quarterbacks can avoid putting the ball in jeopardy. They're going to want to make a big play, and that might sort of set off a feeding frenzy on the defensive side. Yeah, and it's in defenses, that's the number one priority. I mean, you can give up a lot of yards. You could, They can chew up yards up and down the field, but if you can force turnovers, then you're keeping them off the scoreboard, and and that's your number one goal. So I, defenses, they, they have to be a little bit upset right now, and they got to try to find ways to, to hit harder. How about when you're tackling? Use this strip stick. You know, be able to strip the ball out, get the ball out, try to get some interceptions, try to make some user picks, you know, do whatever you can to try to get the football back from that offense and set your offense up in good field position. That's going to do it for David and me here in the studio. Time to get you back to the game. Red and Kirk ready to take you home in the second half. All right, Reese and David, welcome back, everybody. Just about set to start the second half. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. They're two for two in finding the end zone on their last two drives. Let's see how they do here. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. We've got a second and five. Ball on the 30-yard line. He's tackled at about the 29-yard line. Gets it out in a hurry. This one is batted away. Thorson is waiting for the snap. He's to the 40. And he's tackled at the 45-yard line. There's got to be some sense of urgency to this offense right now. They don't have the luxury of wasting drives if they want to get back in the game. Up the middle for a nice game. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. He's on the run, and he's going to come up with a sack. So 
So it's third down now, and they're going to need about four. Check, check, check. Mike, two. Watch two. Watch two. Here go. I, I, uh, and he's sacked. Pretty impressive pass rush right there. Wow. This defense is playing. That's a great three and out. Tough to get anything going against this kind of pressure. This is a great punt blocking team, and it looks like they're going to try to get to this one. He makes it to the 32 yard line. The defense really shut these guys down the last time they had the ball. Throws it in a hurry. Tackle made around the 37-yard line. Second and five. Ball on the 37. Makes the catch and gets out of bounds. So they're going to try to determine if the receiver had possession and was inbounds or not. So the referee initially calls it a catch, but we'll get a second look at it here and determine if he was inbounds when he hauled it in. And that play happened so fast that it was very tough to tell if he was able to get a foot down or not. So after the review, they reverse the call on the field. They come out in a five-wide set. Complete, brought down, nothing doing. He makes it out to maybe the 39-yard line. For Georgia, they're having success rushing the passer tonight. This defense has had success getting after the quarterback. If it wasn't for the solid efforts of this defense, they might not have a two-possession lead. Their last drive broke down, and they punted. What do they have in store this time out? Down two possessions. This offense has to step up and capitalize on this possession. Gets out to around the 48. It's first and 10. Ball on the 48. the carry he's taken down around the 49 yard line and the linebacker comes up and makes a big stop this is textbook this is how you're supposed to play against the run Fires out quickly, incomplete, and the wideout couldn't drag a foot. Yeah, but he showed really nice hands on that play. So the referee is going to take a look at several angles. Now, remember, he's seeing the same thing we are, and he needs indisputable video evidence to overturn the call. So they'll overturn the call and rule this a completion. There was a bad call made on the field, but they were able to oh, fix yes. it because of the replay. This is exactly why the booth review is a great thing for college football. And he might want it all here and does. Leaps picked off. He just jumped up and snatched that ball. Well, there, I don't think the quarterback even saw him. The defender went up into the air and made a great catch. This sophomore corner's got a ton of potential at that position. These coaches are really excited about what he'll do for the program over the next few years. From their own 20-yard line, first down. Yeah. 
They'll bring him down at about the 21. He might have a chance. He's out to the 30. He's to the 40, and he hits him hard at the 47-yard line. We've got a first and 10. Ball on the 47-yard line. He gets out to about the 48-yard line. They go to the left for a nice game. So it's third down, and they've got about two yards to go. He gets hit out of bounds at the 36. The defense doesn't seem to have an answer right now. They might need to change up some of their schemes. And the safety with the interception. Has some daylight. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. Touchdown! Great job here by the defender breaking on the ball and taking it to the house. Man, those pick sixes can really hurt an offense and have a lasting impact. He splits the uprights with the extra point. Missouri to kick. He just drills this one. He's to the 20. They'll bring him down at the 31. The Tigers have really surprised everybody in this football game. They have not been intimidated at all, which is great to see. The attitude and effort of this team has put them in a position where they got a shot to win this game here in the second half. It's going to be interesting now to see if this quarterback can put that last throw behind him. They just gave the defense a gift by handing them the lead with that last interception. Now they've got to play from behind. And he's taken down at the 39-yard line. So it's second down and about two yards to go. Georgia is up by six. And he's tackled around the 41-yard line. He's tackled immediately after the catch. Thorson is the putter. And he makes it out to about the 37-yard line. For the offensive coordinators, it's back to the drawing board. Boy, this offense all of a sudden just can't do anything right. Nothing can impact an offense more negatively than being stopped on a series of downs. There's still plenty of time to keep running their offense as usual here. I don't think they need to feel any anxiety about trailing. Here's a
Here's a running play. And they make the stop around the 39-yard line. It's second down and eight. Ball on their own 39. He's at midfield. Tackle right around the 44-yard line. He makes his way out to about the 35. It's second down now, and they're just a few feet away from that first down marker. Throws in the middle. Brought down around the 31-yard line. Quick throw. Good tackle there in space. First down, 10 to go. Ball on the 18-yard line. He makes it to the 18-yard line. So at the end of the third quarter, the Bulldogs lead 20 to 14. Into the fourth quarter now, and we're back to the action. Three down, three down. Mike, two, watch two, watch two. And he makes it out to about the 17 yard line. Third and long, and this is where you earn your money if you're the offensive coordinator. Quick strike to the receiver. And down he goes at the six. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Touchdown. Tie ball game. This team has so many potent weapons. It's tough to try to single out just one of them to stop. The kicker on the field. He'll try to put his team up by a point. And he tacks on the extra point. So a nine-play, 64-yard drive, and it results in a touchdown. Brad, I thought that was a textbook drive. I thought they did a really good job of showing balance, mixing the play calling with the run and the pass. Just an overall well-executed touchdown drive. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. Here's the screen to the wideout. He's tackled right around the 42-yard line. From their own 42-yard line. First down. Makes it out to about the 50. He's hit immediately. I credit the quarterback on that pass. He made a great read and delivered a very nice pass for the first down. From the 32-yard line, 
It's first down. Grabs a pitch, looking for the corner. He's at the 20. Inside the 10. He goes down at the five-yard line. So with that run, they pick up another first. It's a nice job again up front by the offensive line. They're doing a good job of neutralizing the defensive front, and it's allowed them to move the ball down the field. First down, and they've got their eyes on that goal line. He's in. Touchdown. And they take the lead. He's got a nose for the end zone. What more can you say? He wasn't giving up on that run until he was in for the score. They'll go for two in this situation. And he's in for two. So with just over six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter, our score, 28-21, Georgia. Georgia gets set to kick this one away. He sends this one deep. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. This is a pretty crucial series right here with things being so tight. Your best players have to step it up on both sides of the ball. He makes it out maybe to the 26-yard line. From their own 26-yard line, it's second down. Catches it, and he's looking for more. Fumble, loose ball, picked up by the linebacker. Tackle made at about the 37-yard line. That was a huge turnover. Yeah, and it couldn't have come at a better time for this defense. You're trying to come up with a big stop, and now you get the ball back with the lead. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. Georgia up seven points. Tries to get out of trouble, but he can't shake the defense. So the sack makes this a second and long. right and he can't get back to the line on the run nice run to the outside He's going to aim this one to the sideline, try to kick it out of bounds. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. The offense comes out of the field, and they're hoping to avoid the similar fate that killed their last drive. So much in football is about how you respond to adversity. Moving forward after a turnover is a perfect example of that. Here's the give. He fights forward to about the 20. From their own 20-yard line. Second down. inside and he carries the ball for a nice game Roger, Roger. Choose the mic. All right, see, let's go. All right, see. Go. here they come swings it out there incomplete
Jackson is back deep to return the punt. It's away. Short punt. You know this is a real crucial time in the game. It could still go either way. They spread the field in the gun with five wide receivers. And they got to him before he could get back to the line. From the 48-yard line, second down, Georgia is up by a touchdown. He's gobbled up in the backfield. That play was over before it got started. That was just a case of the offensive line getting beat at the snap of the ball. He's in trouble. There's a fumble. And the defense picks it up. That's a pretty big mistake, and this offense will lose possession of the football. Sloppy job by the ball carrier. First and foremost, you should always be concerned about the ball. Both teams realize that when the ball is snapped, we're one play away from a very different ball game. He's taken down at the 40. Well, you can really mess with an offense's game plan if you can take away their ability to run. From the 40-yard line, second down. Here's the give. So the old counter gets two, maybe three yards. a laser across the middle. They'll bring him down at the 19-yard line. First and 10, ball on the 19. Less than three minutes in the game. Nice run, and he's brought down. So the draw to the halfback picks up four. Slings it. That close to being intercepted. That could have been a big play for the defense. Yeah, even though he had a good shot at picking it off, it's still a heck of a play to force the incomplete pass. They'll line it up again on third down. Pulls it in, first down, and he's knocked out of bounds. Taken down right around the four-yard line. And this play is number eight on the drive. They're crowding that line of scrimmage. And he's tackled around the two-yard line. The defense backed up into their own end zone. It's third and goal from the one. Touchdown, Tigers! Late in the fourth quarter, and the big question is, in a game this close, who's going to crack first? Here comes the kicker to try to tie this game up. 
and he hits the PAT. Missouri is lining up to kick this one off. He kicks it off, and he got all of that one. And it goes into the end zone, down for a touchback. Late in the fourth quarter, tie football game, an important game for both these teams, and this is where you find out who your leaders are. Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Dumps it out left to the running back, and they push him out at the 28-yard line. From their own 28-yard line, it's second down. Defense goes with the extra defensive backs as the offense comes up five wide. There's a strike complete. And they make the stop around the 45-yard line. Quarterback all by himself in the backfield with five wideouts. He steps out around the 48-yard line. We're down to our final minute of this ball game. Caught over the middle. Tackle at the 48. with five wide receivers. Running! 180! Wide! 80! Quick throw. Another catch. Brought down at the 26-yard line. Check, check! 98 Weasel! 98 Weasel! He throws. Picked off. It's the cornerback. It was time for somebody to step up and make a play. And boy, did the defense come through. Now they've got a chance to take the lead. That was huge. First and 10. Ball on the 20. Throws right. Intercepted. interception and that'll change the whole landscape of this game and now is the time to take advantage this offense still has a job to do they need to put points on the board to break this tie but wow do we have a great game or what gets it out quickly touchdown georgia Boy, they had to dig deep to score here that late in the fourth quarter and come from behind. And now the question is, can their defense dig in and win it for them? He splits the uprights with the extra point. And with time winding down, they probably won't let this return man feel the ball. He just drills this one. This one's going to be down in the end zone for a touchback. Their last drive ended with an interception. We're about to find out what the defense can do this time. I look for the offense to come out with the same game plan as before. You don't make changes after one play. Looking for his man incomplete. From their own 25-yard line, it's second down. Going deep, lays it out there. This one will fall incomplete. So they'll have one last shot here to possibly tie this game up. They'll need their prayers to be answered if they don't want to lose this one. He throws it. This one is batted away.
So this one goes final. A hard-fought close game. Georgia, 35. Missouri, 28. For EA Sports and Kirk Herbstreit, this is Brad Nessler saying thanks for tuning in, and we'll see you next time.